and other organizations, telescopes have been monitoring it for eight months. They watched its trajectory to us. It is now stationary, and there are craft going in and out of this 20-mile structure. I don't know any more about it than that. I also want you to know that there is a very large planetary structure coming in, 18 degrees right ascension of Neptune's orbit. It'll, it should be visible sometime in the next year. There is an awful lot going on, and of course, you're all paying the bills, and no one's being told anything about it. Now, it goes far deeper than spooking the herd. That is really not the intention here at all. Okay, the intention here, and what's really been going on, is, is simply this. Bob Dean made uh, a reference yesterday to almost feeling sorry for the government about the situation that they're in. Um, I, I would have to concur with him on that, in the fact that uh, the government made some treaties, uh, cut some deals for technology uh, in exchange for experimentation and observation, and they were tricked. They really did not know what they were getting themselves into. And now the hand has been dealt. Uh, there are many people within the UFO community that say that all the extraterrestrials are benevolent. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in my own personal opinion and based on the knowledge that I have that that is completely irresponsible to say. We live in a duality. <clears throat> because if it was all love and light, we would not be going down this road to global fascism and the powers that be wanting to eliminate two-thirds of the world's population. That is not love and light. Okay? So, we have, we have a lot of things to cover, um, and a lot of things are going to be occurring. The economic situation is what it is. Uh, Mr. Green gave a fantastic presentation yesterday. There is absolutely nothing that I disagree with him about. Um, he made a reference to buying gold and silver. I think that's a really good idea. However, you cannot eat gold and silver. It is imperative that you start storing food, and I will tell you simply why. If they do crash the dollar, which they are going to do, in order to create a global currency and a global government, um, you won't be able to buy food. He made reference to the currency being devalued six to one in the next several months. Gasoline will go to eighteen twenty dollars a gallon. Truckers will not be able to deliver product. What you have is what you'll have. Okay? It is imperative to, if you can, start forming within your community, community gardens, figuring it out. You need to start talking about this. I know most people are simply not open to it, just do the best you can. I mean, we're all, we're all fighting the fight. Now, America is on the front line of this, and the reason is simple. America created a new domain of knowing. America was created to get rid of the aristocracy of the old world, to create something new, to create individual liberties, to create personal freedoms. That was never known in the world before, and we have that. And because of our apathy, we have lost virtually all of those. And it is no one else's fault. It is our own fault. We have known since the 60s that the CIA has been trafficking narcotics. We know this. We have known that the CIA has been assassinating and overthrowing governments. We have known that there's been a cover-up of what there is on the moon and inside our solar system. We know this. We know that there is extraterrestrial life. We know this. That is no longer the discussion. We know that the government has become corrupt. Okay? These, the people, the personages that rule the planet are not us. They are not human beings. And I will say this with my very last breath. They are not us. Okay? <clears throat> Now, what happened was that they took over because they think holographically. 
It was very easy to get around the pyramidal, corp uh, the pyramidal power structure on Earth because it's completely obsolete everywhere else out there. So if you come in using a holograph, using holographic technology, not technology, but thinking, what you do is you create your structure everywhere so no matter what happens, whether one group gets taken out, another group takes out, is gone, the other components are still there to rise up and still manage and control because each of these components have a picture of the whole and they have all the technology and everything they need to continue to control and dominate and brainwash. Okay? We're over our heads here, but we're not alone. Now, what happened was they took over. It was very easy to take over the governments. You dangle technology. You dangle knowledge. You dangle ancient history. And you give them this technology in secret. Okay? You have it. We're going to give it to you. The United States of America made this mistake. So, uh, Bob Dean, again, Mr. Dean made a reference yesterday to the missing trillions of dollars from the Federal Reserve. Okay, I have been told that it's $24 trillion is what they carry on their books. And uh, virtually most of that has gone into the secret space program and the colonization of our solar system. You can choose to believe that or not. It doesn't matter, and it doesn't change the reality of it. Okay? So what happened was the pirates took over the ship. Okay? The governments, realizing that they had all this technology and that they were a thousand years more advanced than we were, instead of telling everyone, hey, we have a problem here, and standing tall and doing the right thing, they joined the pirates. We are literally only now, as passengers on the ship, finding out and realizing that we've been hijacked. Okay? That's the movement. And many people are going to have a very difficult time when they realize that reality is not at all what they think it is or what they thought it was. Even those of us who have been exposed to this for many, many years have oh shit moments. I, it's impossible not to, you know? Yes, our politicians sold out. Um, it was easy to corrupt them. We, we, have, we have an enormous mess. They're stuck in the middle as well. Over the next year, year and a half, there's going to be so many changes. America is the focal point here uh, of this, and the reason for that is because Americans, despite our educational system, are still very smart. We are very able to think out of the box. We are excellent problem solvers, and we are armed to the teeth. They constantly will have to be looking over their shoulder unless they take us out. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the goal. They cannot have a new world go go they cannot have a world government without taking out the US. And I mean taking it to its knees. Now this is not the portion, this is not where the whole presentation is going. But it's important to give you this background. Because the world used to look to us for the ideals of freedom. Immigrants all over the world have come to America. My grandparents were immigrants to this country because they believed in individual liberties. They believed in freedom. They believed in the principles that were in the Constitution.